he came at us going 80 miles an hour with his lights off. Come on, on that um, one juvenile female unresponsive. He hit us with such force that he dropped the engine out of his truck and ran right over top of our family van. Our car was literally morphed around our body. I remember trying to reach my cell phone and I brought up my right hand and it was covered with blood and I couldn't figure out, you know, I just felt nothing. I was in shock. I remember waking up and being the only one awake and screaming mom and hearing no answer, and screaming dad and hearing no answer. I'm waking up and my face is just smashed up against this glass and I can't figure out how I got there because I was just watching Jen sing in the choir concert and I'm saying out loud, is this real or is this a dream? And, and how did I get here? And Josh was the least injured. Josh, our son, is, was 11, and he was saying, Mom, it's real. Literally, that we all survived was a miracle. We should have all been dead. Jennifer was completely knocked out, and she had a traumatic brain injury. It was critical. I have a traumatic brain injury and I was in a coma for five weeks. I'll never forget the day that she started thrashing and moaning back and forth in the bed. She was trying to wake up. I got as close to her bed as I could and I just started singing Jesus Loves Me. I didn't know what else to do. And um, she started singing on the third word. She was mouthing Jesus Loves Me. And it gave me such hope that my daughter was in there. When you survive something like that, you know um, that God has a different plan. She would circle around the kitchen and she would say over and over again, I'm going to have a ministry to the world. Out of our story came our ministry and we've been able to, you know, go and minister to many different people and have the opportunities that if our wreck wouldn't have happened that we wouldn't have had the chance to be able to do. God um, empowers Jen to get on stage and speak now and that's not how she was. She has a whole new personality, she has a whole new purpose in life and it wasn't how she was prior to the accident. God just gives me such a great peace and he truly just helps me know that Jen you aren't alone and that I've opened up these doors of ministry for you and I will provide. He wants us to love people, love others, and love Him. She had thyroid surgery and you know I was so angry at God at first and I was sitting right here at Thomas Road in the sanctuary and Pastor Jonathan was speaking and I just had a moment where I started to really question God and I was saying, Lord, is it worth it? Is it really worth it to keep going and sharing Christ because I'm tired of the enemy messing with my family. I'm tired of Satan messing with Jen and now she has thyroid cancer and I was just ready to give up. And in that moment while I'm sitting there and Pastor Jonathan is speaking, somebody taps me on the shoulder and I turn around and they passed me up this note from three rows back. And as I was reading it, it says, don't stop sharing your story. Because of your story and your family's testimony, I've given my life to Christ. I've surrendered everything to the Lord and don't stop sharing your story. And you know, God cared about me enough to answer my question in that moment. When I'm saying, Lord, <laughs> is this worth it? God was saying, yes, don't stop sharing your story. And that is why God allows us to go through painful things. It gives us a passion to help others. It gives us a purpose to go out and help someone else who's hurting and to share Christ. With God, all things are possible. There are no accidents. And that God can use whatever they may have to go through in life for His glory. 